Question really, sir. Vincent, um, Kevin De Bruyne back in training. What does the team miss when he's not available to play for you? Well, good night. Uh, his quality, of course, but uh, he's back. So in the training, today the first training with the team and we'll see when he's ready for uh, to join the team in the games. Hi, Pep. Uh, Luke Edwards from The, the Telegraph. Um, how nice would it be for you to be back on the touchline for this Champions League game after after missing the last one? Yeah, a lot. I prefer to be there than the Tribune. Any, I, any reason why? I like to be with my players. It's my job. I like to be in the touch line, of course. Hi, Pep. Jamie Jacks from The Guardian. You, you obviously lost your first game um, in this group. So what's, what's your mindset uh, for tomorrow, especially as you also have you know, Liverpool at the weekend? Please. We have five finals qualify so Champions League will have time to to lose a lot of games we missed the first one so we know the situation we are so have five finals tomorrow's the first one uh, Pep, uh, David McDonnell from the Daily Mirror um, what did you learn from the defeat to Lyon in terms of where you are as a team in terms of Europe and, and what do you need to change in order to to be at the level that you believe you should be at in terms of challenging for this tournament Well, I, we were not uh, so, so bad, so reviewed the game, maybe the first half we had, we were not like normally we are, but this Champions League, so the teams are good, so always I give credit to Lyon, sometimes when we are not able to win or we don't play good, I give credit to the opponents, not always depend, depends on, on us, so it's another competition, like like Vincent said perfectly, so it's a top quality level competition and every team are so good and and, and that's why it's so complicated. So the people say except Real Madrid, the last three years nobody wins the Champions League. So <laughs> it's a tough competition for all of us and and we try to be stable in that competition. In the last six, five, six years always we were there and I think we make a step forward. Or well, maybe we need like a team, like a club, to live tough moments in that competition. Last two seasons, when I, I am here, we qualify quite comfortable. And maybe you have to to realize how complicated that competition and suffer in the group of stage to realize, to make a step forward in the maybe knockout games. And if we are not able to do that, it's because we are not good enough and prepare much better for the next season. So it's simple like that. Um, Florian Barz, uh, SVR German Television. I uh, would like to know what is your opinion about uh, Julian Nagelsmann, uh, Hoffenheim's coach. We heard that you are texting from time to time via WhatsApp. Is that true? I don't have WhatsApp. OK. So what's your opinion about Julian Nagelsmann? But I send SMS. OK. But I don't have WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, tomorrow will be the first time we met each other, so we're in touch through contact. We're in contact through another people, friend of of us. So, uh, of course, I'm really, really impressed. So young, when he took over the Hoffenheim in a bad position, and every season is getting better. So Hoffenheim is a Champions League, and when you see his team, say, "Wow, he's a manager there." So. He will have a lot of success in his career, so he's uh, no, 31 or 32 years old, so, and he's already managing a, a, a good team and a top competition. So I'm looking forward to, you know, to play against him, to face him, hopefully he will not be the last one in our future, and, and I'm happy. I'm happy the manager with this quality uh, can and produce a nice football for, for the football itself, so it's, it's so nice. Paula Llanos de Chile. Buenas tardes, señor Guardiola. Over the weekend, Kun Agüero scored the uh, goal 148. Uh, how should tomorrow Manchester City play in order to perhaps celebrate the 150? I know you like to break uh, records, and it will be nice, perhaps, that Kun brings Manchester City so two goals. What do you need to do tomorrow in order to push this guy and put in there and score the 150? Why not? 
Well, we didn't travel here thinking about uh, to break the records from Sergio, honestly. So we spoke yet today, the first day, about uh, Hoffenheim, what they are, what they do like a team, and we're going to play as best as possible. Always the goal is a consequence for, for the team. We travel here to play a good game and, of course, to try to, to get points. Hello, Pep. Hi. Stuart, Stuart Brennan, Manchester Evening News. Uh, you brought Sergio with you. Um, we know he's got an injury. How much of a risk would it be to play him tomorrow night, especially such a big game on Sunday? The such a big game is tomorrow. Such a big game is tomorrow. And he's here because uh, the doctors and the physios said he is able. He's uh, much, much better. Still, he has pain. Tomorrow, going to decide if he plays him or, or Gabriel. Uh, but uh, everybody is here because he's able to play. Kevin is not here because he still is not able to play. That is the the reason. And after that, on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're going to you know to think about Liverpool. You've left. Mendy and Delph at home, have they got a, a chance, either of them got a chance for Sunday? Delph, I don't think so. Benjamin, I don't know, maybe. The doctor says much, much better. We will see. We have Tuesday to Sunday, we have enough days. And hopefully, the problem is still didn't train <laughs> with us. But uh, hopefully when we come back to Munich, uh, Munich, sorry, Manchester, uh, he can... Uh, oop, he can, um, he can train with us. Uh, hi, Pep. There's, there's been more talk this weekend about a possible move by Manchester City for Kylian Mbappe. Mbappe, um, is he a player that you admire a lot? That is not going to happen. So sometimes I don't understand where that news comes from. So Manchester City don't have, and you're going to spend the money that maybe Mbappe deserves. So, or PSG deserve. PSG is not going to sell this kind of player for any other club in the world in the next years, I guess. So that is not going to happen. Mbappe is not going to come here. And we, we, we are not going to swap from Rahim or another top player that we have. So I don't understand why sometimes the news come from and this kind of news. So I don't understand it. So people should be more, you know, for respect for PSG, for respect for Man City, for those players from PSG, for the players from Man City. They should have more respect, you know, to know because, of course, I am the second person to know exactly which players are target or which player are going to sell or something like that. And, but it's what it is.